Hello and welcome to another Python tutorial video. Today I will show you how to create a very simple translator in less than five minutes. First of all, uh, from translate import everything, uh, you have to install translate. Uh, to do that, open the command prompt with the win button in R and type in CMD and then pip install translate. And I already have it installed, but if you don't, it's going to install it. Uh, now, just print a welcome message to make the user feel more welcomed. So, wel welcome to Translator 1.0. And now let's make a while statement so it repeats this uh, every time. So, while, so the user doesn't have to close the program and restart. While translating, and let's make translating be a variable. So, translating equals true. And while translating double dots, uh, language, so the user defines what language equals input. So type a language, type a language. And now the word or sentence equals input. Type a word slash sentence in English to be translated to and now this is, you don't have to do this, this is just more fancy, to be translated to string, actually first we have to make a plus sign, lang. So it will be, uh, it will say type a word or sentence in English to be translated to what the user said here. Now uh, we have to make the translator work. So tra translator equals translator, and then to lang, here you define the language, and lang, because lang is the inputted language. So now we have to make it actually translate. So translate equals translator. Translator is this variable. Translator dot translate, and then the word. Word is this. Now let's just quickly run that F5 and enter. Uh, type a language. Let's just say French, and you can see it says the welcome message and everything, enter. Type word or sentence in English to be translated to French. Uh, we, we should make a space over here. I forgot. Anyway, let's continue that. Uh, to French, let's say just hello world. And, uh, oh yeah, we forgot. We need to make it print the translation. So print translation. Translation. Uh, we should, or translate actually, because print this variable, so translate, print translate, F5 run, type a language, uh, French again, let's say, let's just make it say, hello world, or hello, what is your name, click enter, Bonjour, quel, and then it says what is your name in French. And you can see it repeats it. But let's make the user decide if he wants to repeat or not. So let's just say stop as a variable equals input. Do you want to translate again? Translate again. Y slash N. And uh, if, if stop equals Y, Oh yes, I forgot here, we have to end it. If stop equals y, double dot, translating. Translating, because here we define translating as true. But if it is anything else, so else, exit. Let's run that and see. So type a language, uh, hello, and bonjour. Do you want to uh, translate again? Why or no? Let's say why. Okay. See, it repeats it. Now, let's just try again. Hello. Do you want to translate again? Y or N? Now, if we press N, it asks, if it asks us if we want to close the program. So, you can see that you created a small translator in less than five minutes. So, thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed, I make plenty of tutorial videos. And thanks again for watching. Goodbye.